Swords, Lion, and Eagle, The Warrior Within by Lexars. This modification changes the Swords of Steel and the Griffin Silver Swords, and it changes them into the Lion and Eagle Swords from the Prince of Persia Warrior Within. The original fires of the Prince of Persia Warrior Within have been refurbished, and this is a newer version, Update 2.0, the Serpent and Scorpion Project. Quite interesting. The mod author wants you to be aware of the number of mods limits. If the mod does not work properly, there may be a mod limit you have reached. Now, I've been using the beta version of this, and it has finally been released to the public. And I must say that the work and diligence in the creation of this weapon is quite impressive. Or should I say, weapons. Very enjoyable, in my personal opinion. And if you are a fan of the Prince of Persia, or the Warrior Within, this will definitely appeal to you. Minimap reworked by Technique. Works with the upgraded version 1.22 game patch. If I'm not mistaken, we could be on 1.23. So there is a possibility it's not currently working. The mod author will most likely update this later. With this mod, you can make a minimap transparent, but leave the map markers. It will make the minimap less intrusive, but you will still get the sense of direction. Also, there are versions with only the clock being visible. Personally, I found this to be a welcome addition, a great change. If you'd like to be more immersed in The Witcher, then this mini-map may be the compromise for you, without entirely getting rid of the map, but having the more essential and important information still readily available to you. Better Parries, Parry and Counter Heavy Attacks, updated by Coda Bega Mode. As the author of the original mod for a long time is not updated it, and it is not known whether it will do in the future, I have made this update for patch 1.22. All credit goes to the original author of Better Parries, Parry and Counter Heavy Attacks. The original description reads as this mod allows Geralt to parry and counter heavy melee attacks by monsters, and parry and counter heavy human armed and heavy weapon attacks. Now, as this mod states, it is better parrying. I often found it quite odd that you could be fighting something as weak as a Necker or a Necrophage, which only had claws, and for some reason your silver sword couldn't deflect claws from a humanoid creature whose claws in and of itself weren't that huge. I could possibly understand it being a problem with a vampire or a Nekimura since they have around 12-inch claws. But really? A fucking water hag? I don't know. Personally, I feel that this is one of those mods that might just be needed for the Witcher. Three Companions mod by Shania 301. First of all, this mod was originally made by Scal Zikpo. Then it was modified to spawn in Three Companions. The source code is located on the mod author's description page. Soon to add companions with horses currently working on it. Now that's going to be quite impressive. Now what this mod basically does, it is very self-explanatory, is it spawns in companions. Now the Witcher's life and the code of the Witcher is a Witcher is always alone, but a Witcher never turns a blind eye to a helping hand. I believe Vesemir said that. Now anyway, this mod will give you the ability to add as many as three companions at once. You can have Ciri, Triss, Vez, and Zoltan. I don't know how far this will go or how many companions will possibly come in a later on time, but I guess the sky is the limit with this, and it all depends on how you choose to play. Frankly, if you're playing The Witcher on any sort of hard mode where a mistake can kill you, having a companion around wouldn't hurt too much at all. Also, they all function within their range of abilities, which makes it quite interesting. Personally, find mages to be a bit OP, but having Geralt walk around with Ciri could give you an idea of what they did at the end of The Witcher 3. Depending on the ending you unlocked with your choices in game. I would fully recommend this and once the mod author adds horses this is going to be one of the best mods you could possibly get for the Witcher and one of the easiest to implement. Usually adding companion frameworks leads to my game crashing but I had no such issues with this one.
Now, in order to get the last mod I featured to work, you're going to have to download Debug Console Enabler 1.22 by Aquilium. And there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, Debug Console Enabler is a must have mod in my personal opinion, especially if we want to take snapshots or screenshots of your game, or if you simply can't afford that Grandmaster Witcher armor, all you have to do is type in a little console code and command and make yourself enough money to pay for that expensive ass piece of metal. Go download it now, you need it. Also, there may be occasions where you try to use free camera mode and you get this weird fisheye lens. You'll have to live with it. It happens maybe one out of five times. No big deal. And if the game is updated and it crashes and it says something about potions not working, usually it's your debug console enabler. Proxy's character swap and various other mods version 1.22. This is a compendium of various small size modifications that change some characters' appearance. To use my mod, you will need to have all the expansion packs and free DLCs installed, as well as patch version 1.22 or higher. You can switch Triss to Iris Von Averick. You can also have Siri wear her DLC outfit that was only in Skellige with a different kind of fur. Yennefer will also be wearing Sienna's outfit. Now, as the mod author states, this mod gives you the ability to switch out certain key role characters with others. Personally, I must have made some sort of mistake with Siri, but I have found that the mod for Yennefer is fully functional and works fantastically. Also, the choice of putting this costume, outfit, or whatever you want to call it on Yennefer doesn't seem vulgar, gratuitous, or out of place. It is a perfectly good aesthetic choice that doesn't seem insulting to the character or misplaced or confusing. In fact, it's something I could totally see Yennefer wearing. This may throw other people off, it may not, but for me personally, I found it quite enjoyable. And once I figure out how to get this mod working on Siri, I will definitely have her wearing this alternate outfit because I simply find it incredibly bad fucking ass. And really, that's all that matters. It's a badass world, and she's a badass girl. She could spank me any time with her sword, punch me in my face, and then take my coin pouch, and I'd say thank you. Well, that's it for my video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, as always, for tuning into my channel. Don't forget that I have a Twitch and a Twitter account. Uh, my Twitter isn't very good. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what to say. I'm trying not to say anything negative so that uh, companies will sponsor me, but it's so hard not to do it. I'm trying to be a positive role model for adult men, children everywhere. Thank you and good night. This is Walter Cronkite signing off.